So you might be wondering why should you go through all this effort to mark clips as favorite, to apply keywords, to use the info inspector to apply additional metadata. Well, there's a great reason for it. Final Cut can present certain clips to you and help you find your content based on all that metadata that you've applied to a clip. So the first thing at the top right of the browser, we have a little search field here. And you can click on this to turn on the search. And you'll see there's a search field here. And you can start typing in something that you know is included in your clips. So if I type, for example, the number four, I know these are all scene four. Maybe I want shot 65. I can do 4-65. And now we're seeing just five items that have 465 included in the name. So you can certainly use the search as a way to find things. But this search is something that can be a lot, a lot smarter. Right now, it's kind of a dumb search. It's just one piece of text, whatever you type in. To make it a smarter search, you have a little button here on the right side here. And this will bring up the HUD, or our filter HUD, that allows us to filter the search and what we're seeing based on certain parameters. So instead of just doing a search based on text, you can actually hit the plus up here and search for other uh, parameters that you want to search for. So we can hit the keywords, for example. I can hit this button to uncheck all of the keywords. And then maybe you want to see just for scene four. And we're going to go up and, and do a global search here on our entire event. So now at the bottom, you'll see that one of 22 clips is selected. So we only have 22 items here because that's what scene four is a part of. If I uncheck that, I can see all 516 clips are showing in this view. So we're, we're able to search and go through and look for specific items using this search field. And you might be wondering why you'd want to do that, because yeah, you could just go through and click on, for example, scene three and C4 if I want to see all of the clips with those keywords. I mean, it makes sense. I can quickly see those, but I could just do that using the sidebar. But using this filter window is a great way because you can go through and search for some things and then click this item that says New Smart Collection. And a smart collection is a saved search, essentially. So I'm going to hit New Smart Collection. And notice it's here on the left side. And I'll do scene three and four. And there's my smart collection. So instead of having to always go here and select scene three and four, I can just use this smart collection as a way to quickly see those items. And I'm not duplicating any of this media. So you're not going to take up tons of space by creating all these keyword collections or smart collections. It's just another way to search and find for content that's in, on your, uh, on inside of your library there. So you're not going to take up a ton of space by doing this. So that's one way we looked at how to use the search. You have your filter menu to, to bring up different parameters, and you can create a smart collection. But you may have seen something up here. There's a little folder above our event called Smart Collections. And this is something that's kind of, kind of nice. These are library smart collections. So they're not part of your event. They're actually searching your entire library, which means if you are working with multiple events, you can use these library smart collections as a way to search everything. So right now we have one for all video, which this is searching all of our events for any video clips, which in this library there's 470 video clips. If I want to see audio only, I can do that, and there's 43 different sound effects and songs and, and other audio. I could see all of my favorite clips. I could see all my projects once we go to create those, and any still images which we can see there's three still images that were included in this one. So that's a library smart collection, which is searching everything. And it can be very helpful to have those. So you can go up to the file menu, go down to new, and there's an option here to create a library smart collection. And when you do that, it's the same thing as creating another search. It puts it here inside of the smart collections, and you could go and search for it. So if I wanted to see everything that is a scene four favorite clip. I could do that for the entire library, and I'll double click on that. I'll hit the plus here. I'll uh, include some text. We'll say the text includes uh, four. 
four dash for scene four, and then all of them have that as the scene four. And then we do our ratings here as a favorite. And there we have a library smart collection. So this is the overtime event, but let's say there was multiple short films we were editing inside of this library. Each one of them might have their own events. This would be a way for us to find the favorites from every scene for out of every event there. And that's a library smart collection. Now that you've seen some of the ways to organize your content, it should be much easier to build our projects in the next lesson. So go ahead and continue to organize, either using keywords, favorites, rejected, and start to build ways of finding your content. As you add all of this metadata to your clips, it's going to be easier later on to find things. And you'll be adding more smart collections, you'll be adding more keyword collections throughout the process of building your videos with Final Cut because you'll find reasons to search for specific clips. So don't hesitate to modify these ways of organizing. Don't hesitate to go in here and delete ones that you don't want. The whole point here is to customize the way that your library is set up so it can be easier to find your content. All right, enough with sorting, organizing, and planning. Let's actually build a project with Final Cut Pro 10.